What's going on everybody? So today's video is maybe not gonna be car related. It's gonna be showing you guys what I use to film all my stuff or how I film like in-car shots and how I film shots like where I'm at right now. Keep in mind, this is something that a lot of people have been asking me and they all send me DMs. So I decided to make a full on video of what gear I use uh, to film all my videos and microphone and everything. What software I use to edit my videos and I'm not gonna show you guys how I edit because I mean, that's every, based on every, or based on your own per preferences on how you edit. So also, you don't need all the stuff that I have. It's just, at heart, I am a nerd. I'm a bit of a nerd. I love electronics, I love technology. So I kind of care about what I have on like gear wise, on what I use. Let's get started with, I guess, the small camera. Um, I, I barely use this camera. It's just, it's been sitting because I did lose the charger, but I finally found it. It is the Sony HX9V, Sony HX9V. Um, it's all right. It shoots 1080 and stuff. The only reason why I actually have this camera is because the microphone's on top. And the reason why you want to get a camera with the microphone on top is so when you have it pointed this way, or when you're vlogging like this, it's able to capture the sound uh, wherever uh, direction it is. Because if you have a microphone in the front, that means the microphone will be only be uh, good when the camera's facing you. But if you have it faced this way, the camera can't really hear you. That's what sometimes in this video, or in my videos, you, you barely hear me or my voice drops down due to the microphone that I'm using. And I do have a shotgun mic on this uh, 70D, so I'll show you guys after that. That's something I use when, I guess, when I want to, oh, what the hell just happened to it? Uh, okay, the camera reset, I don't know why. All right, I don't know why I'm to the camera, but it does, it's, it works. It's, I think it's just dead, so I'm charging in the meantime. I'm gonna shoot a video off of this, uh, recording what I'm using right now, because it's hard showing you guys with the camera that I'm using. <laughs> so let's move over to what I use for, I guess, in-car. For in-car footage, I use the Hero 3 Plus, the GoPro, and with the suction cup, which is what I use for uh, when I did my exhaust video, I just stuck down the back of my trunk and it was pointing down towards my exhaust. And then the Hero 4, the more expensive GoPro, I use this for my roll bar mount, which, which I have right here. This is the housing for the Hero 4 on how I, um, do all my track event days and stuff. And then for the camera that I'm using right now, I put it right here. This is the Delkin uh, section cut mount. It is really, really good. It's, uh, what is it? Is metal constructed or something? Yeah, I think it's a metal or aluminum. Right now it does have this mic, because I don't know why, but yeah, I hang the DSLR body upside down right here and I'll show you guys with the other camera once it charges but that is how I record my car videos and I have it pointed like this and then the microphone which I have this piece right here is actually going to be hung sooner once I get a mic extension right here in the center of my car so the sound my um my voice will be a lot more clear it pretty much doesn't have the microphone does have to sit this far and has a trouble hearing me but this is from a microphone and I'm gonna be using that section cup mount because I do have a different one for the GoPro, but I'm just leaving this right here so I don't lose it. And of course you shoot at 1080, 1080, the camera stuff shoot at 1080. Nowadays on the internet, a lot of people want to see 1080p videos. There's no point of watching 480 or 720 anymore. Um, that's why I want high quality videos for you guys to watch. Yeah, let me just move over to my smaller camera once it charges all the way. While I'm recording this video, I'm uploading a new video right now. I said 93%, five minutes remaining. Um, and yeah, this is what I edit off of. And I use Final Cut Pro, which is only available on Macs, just to let you guys know. But if you guys have Windows, there's Sony Vegas, which a lot of people still use. And, um, sorry, this glare. But this program is really easy to use. It's just, you know, you learn by use. You just learn by using it. And then I back up all my data on a lazy one terabyte because you never know when you do lose your video files and I had that happen before. And everything goes on to when I'm recording on these 32 gigabyte SanDisk cards. They're like, was it class three or class 10 at three? I don't know how to read these. But yeah, um, and memory cards do actually make a huge difference. I had like a basic one and after I got these ones, the transfer speed to the computer is so much faster. 
So I'm actually using one in this camera right now too, and then I'm about to put this one into the Sony to record what I'm using on right here. But yeah, just my Mac, at least a terabyte. Oh, that's the external power pack. All right, so now I'm recording off the Sony camera that I showed you guys earlier. And this is the setup. The Rode Video Mic Pro. Well, no, actually the Rode Video Mic. Um, and the Canon 780. Right, let me put it over there. Oh. It doesn't drop. Alright, and the Canon 780 and the Canon 10 to 22, which is, if most people that watch a lot of YouTube videos, uh, KC9 stat. This is the KC9 stat setup, exact setup, besides the mic. Well, the mic's similar, it's, they have different models of it. And the reason why I chose the Canon 780 is because of this the flip out screen. So if I actually take off the lens cap and turn on the camera, you guys can see me recording right now off the screen. And it's also a touch screen, so you can make it focus on where you need it to focus. And that's the main thing or main reason why. And I shoot in manual, so you have to adjust the shutter speed and everything in order to get the right picture out of it. Oops, sorry, just upside down. See, so I'll go darker lighter there you go and the mic it's powered by a 9 volt battery so you, have, you always have to keep make sure that the battery is um, good because if the battery is not good that means you're gonna be recording no sound throughout the whole time you're recording a video so I always carry extra 9 volts with me and I cannot put this back with one hand okay, there we go oh fuck it I'll do it later but yeah so that's the reason why I chose this camera and then uh, tripod, uh, I used the Joby tripod exactly like KC9 stat setup. So this is how I record. As you can see, this is how I record, and there's there's the screen. This is exactly how I record while holding it like that. And uh, this is like I said, the KC9 stat setup. So it's really comfortable. Now I understand why he uses this kind of setup. Um, and this setup is pretty expensive, so it does depend on the person that wants to use it. And I'm still using the Sony camera. The only downside about this is it doesn't have a pop-out screen. But the benefits of that is that you always focus on the lens, so you never look, around, look away. Because I do do that on the 70D. Um, and the body, I paid $800 for a brand new, just the body, no lens. Lens was $650. The mic was $150, the tripod I price matched at Best Buy for 50 bucks. So it's a pretty expensive setup, but at the same time, you get good quality videos and I care about that. And most of you guys probably will care about that too. Um, and let me show you guys the mount when it's in my car. So I'm gonna mount the camera in my car real quick. I'm in my car right now and this is exactly how it looks like when I'm recording the in-car videos. So it does record upside down. Uh, let me actually brighten that up. It records upside down, but at the same time, when I put it into Final Cut Pro, I do flip the video around so it's uh, <laughs> the right way. And this mount, it does seem sketchy at first, but trust the mount. I mean, it is a uh, $70 mount by Delkin. There, oh, I can't really see it. Delkin, but it does the job and it's it's safe. But you gotta put money into equipment if you want your equipment to be good. So, but that it, that's how it mounts to the car. So that is all the stuff that I use for my videos. And I know this isn't a car related video, but uh, keep in mind I do try to change up on videos. I don't want to keep having car videos. All the footage before this clip right now is from this Sony H X9. H X9. Um, they, actually, they actually have a uh, HX90 where it has a flip up screen that I've been thinking about getting. It's made by Sony too, but I have to look on reboots about it because I mean there's a Canon G7X. There's a lot of nice cameras out there that you could use. Um, all the stuff that I have in this, or I'm showing you guys that I have, I will post up links on Amazon. And keep in mind, it is not everybody's budget or if they want to spend this much on this quality to just make YouTube videos. 
but I care about quality. I care about, I love technology and all that. So that's why I put money into it. You don't need a expensive camera to make videos. You just need like a regular iPhone 6 or any Canon PowerShot that shoots at 1080 with a uh, top microphone um, to record videos. If you have Windows, just get Sony Vegas Pro. You can always torrent that, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to pay for that shit. Or if you get a Mac, get a uh, Final Cut Pro. And Final Cut Pro is $300. It's pretty expensive, but you'll see what's the difference between that and Sony Vegas. That's the reason why I switch over to Mac. If you guys want to start a YouTube channel, just make videos, just keep uploading. Keep all the uploading, keep sharing it, you know. And your channel will slowly grow. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, so thank you guys. But you never know when that one video will blow up and it will help your channel out a bit. Overall, my setup is pretty much the KC9 size setup besides this right here. This is not the Canon G7X that he uses. So hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully this clears out some things on what I use to film my videos. And yeah, so comment, like, subscribe, dislike, up to you guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace. So I'm gonna 